Hello and welcome everybody to another review, Monaco Casino. I purchased these with my own money from Discount Poker Shop. If you have your thoughts, write them in the comments below. You can wait until I finish my review or you can start hammering it out now. All right, before we dive into the review of these lovely chips, let me just, if I'm playing with chips, I might as well play with chips. We're going to play a quick hand. So pause the video or just run and grab a deck and shuffle up we're going to play and it's funny with with my pots they're never realistic so if it's like a 10 20 game right it's like people and then somebody raises and then somebody calls and then how are we going to get to it's like it's not even just not even with all ins it's not gonna very rarely are you going to see a pot like that but today let's use some Marion pro poker 100 percent plastic playing cards and let's see uh, how many ways i can lose we got the jokers all right yeah, all right, we're looking good. So I call this the weave shuffle. And it works pretty well for me. But somebody the other day called it something different. I don't remember what it was. Either way, I don't think there's a right or wrong. I, there's not exactly. I haven't seen an encyclopedia of names of different ways to shuffle cards. Shuffle Matic, what's the name of Shuffle Master? What's the name of that automatic shuffler that they use in Vegas? I forget. All right. This can either be your hand or I always call her Jane Doe. And then here's my hand. So I'm going to have a quick peek here. And we're not doing better. This is not, we're not playing poker. Okay. This is not, there are no betting cycles. This is YouTube, folks. YouTube. We're testing poker chips. So this, the whole point of all this is to flop eights, turn a two. And then river, what do you guys call it right here? Uh, what does Maverick call Ace of spades or something? Wrong again. So it's high card wins, right? So my king has a good chance to finally beat Jane Doe. <laughs> Woo! I never thought I'd be so excited to beat a fictitious person where I didn't win anything. Just, I run so bad. You guys watch the videos. You guys know I run so bad. So... How do the chips look? Do they do their job pretty well as chips? I think they did. Now, real quick, why did I purchase tens and fifties? It's because I was debating on using these as Pokemon counters for Pokemon because my son loves, loves, loves Pokemon and we need damage counters. So these were an option, but he really liked the Roman times. I think I have some here. I might have a picture or something I can roll in, but I have a couple here. So he liked these, the Roman times more than the Monaco casino. Cause it doesn't say casino on there. And he did, he just liked the numbers, even though there's a dollar sign on there. So these are her Pokemon damage counter. Roman times, he liked more than Monaco Casino. So I don't know if that helps anybody out there. Anyway, that's why we're looking at 10 and 50s. So yes, you can use poker chips for a lot of different things, not just poker. So real quick, what we're looking at here, this is a metal slugged ABS chip, okay? So if you broke this, and trust me, they're hard to break. I've never broken one with my fingers yet. It's just plastic surrounding a metal slug. The metal slug has holes drilled in it, so the plastic really you know, locks into place. And then it has a label, which is just a glorified permanent sticker that they stick on here, Monaco Casino with a dollar sign, pretty small dollar sign. You're not sure if that's cents or dollars if you're you know at a distance sometimes. With the number right here, 10, and then it repeats it here in English, $10 at the bottom. And there's this crown laurel embellishment centerpiece here on the label. This one's green. The 50 is, what is that? Is that navy or is that gray? I can't tell. Either way, it looks gray from here. So a pretty interesting design. As we move around the outside, you can see there are some concentric circles here followed by, or enveloping these freelies, freelies, little, I don't know what you call those, hood ornaments, whatever, garden, fence, cast iron fence ornaments. And then there's the four double edge spots. They look like one eighth inch edge spots. Probably one, yeah, one quarter inch edge spots with one eighth inch color edge spots in there. They come to a nice interesting point right there. Interesting looking chip, not bad. The edges on these are sanded. And so you don't have the flashing issues. Although looking at these, what is that? Is that a chip? 
Or is that an air bubble from manufacturing? Either way, they're not perfect. They're AB. They're 12. I paid 12 cents a chip before, and then I had to pay tax on top of that and shipping on top of that. So it came out to more than 12 cents a chip. So the more you buy, the less per chip, but it's going to be right around that range. Price is subject to change. All right. Let's look at some quality here, okay? So let's see how flat they are. Okay. These are not exactly flat. This is pretty standard for ABS chips. I found uh, every time I grab a stack of ABS chips, particularly the metal slug variety, there is some wobble there. Not always, you know, just like, uh, yeah, not the flattest thing on the planet. If we compare, if we do an unfair comparison, so this is just a stack of BR Pro. Po Let's see what we have here. Okay, hang on a second. We have some King po King of the River. We have some high stakes poker. We have some Nevada Jack skulls. All right, let's get these out of the way. So looking at some ceramics, you can see ceramics are amazingly flat, just amazingly flat. We compared that to some old real casino chips. These are real Paulsons. Well, Paulsons are amazing. They're super flat. Well, not so much, you know, especially if they're casino used. Can you see how not perfectly flat they are? Yeah, not the best. If we roll to some newer issue, because yeah, let's see what we have here. Oh, my holiday casino. This needs to go back in its case. So looking at some Jack Cincy here, these are pretty flat as well, but you can see that top one has a little bit of gap right there that opens up. Not perfectly flat, but pretty close. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. ABS chips, not flat. We spent way too much time talking about flatness, but I'm having fun playing with the chips. So buckle up, everybody. Let's talk about weight, width, and thickness. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. So let's do 10. So we get an average width. Because if you just measure one chip, what's it really telling you? You know, that one chip could be an outlier. Okay, so let's, so we're looking at 3.3 millimeters. We can confirm that by doing individual chips, 3.23 and 3.28, very close to 3.3. All right, pretty good. Now let's weigh the chips here. I have a scale, the famous top two kilogram, I don't know, it's, that doesn't look like a brand name. Either way, we're in grams. So doing one here, 13 and a half grams, 13.7 it says, but let's average it out again across 10. 13.46 on average, 13, 13, about 13 and a half for these metal slug ABS chips. And what are we guessing? 39 millimeters, no, seriously? 39 millimeters in diameter. Let's see what it says. Oh, that, these are 40 millimeter chips. Good to know. All right, there we go. So lovely, lovely chips. Is that stickiness? Oh no, there's stickiness on here. Can you see the, I'm not sure if that's gonna focus, but there's some, you know how like when you peel a sticker off, there's that sticky gunk? That's what that feels like. It'll come right off. That would wash off, so not a big deal. None of them, I, that's the only one I can feel that has any sort of sticky stuff on it. Anyway, we'll keep that one right up top. So overall, th these are, let me think about the, how to phrase this. Depending on your personality, you may really like these. I don't like these. I like things with more character and pizzazz, right? So Tiki Kings, family favorite. Everybody know, we know. And if I brought these out to my family games, or with my friends, they would look at me like, seriously, why don't you pull out something interesting? Because I have things like Tiki Kings, like I have my custom set. But the problem with interest or like obsolete casino chip, I mean, there's, I got a bunch of interesting sets. But the problem with pulling out interesting sets is every time these come out, there's always that five-year-old or 10-year-old or adult, you know who you are, who's like, oh, can I have one? And you're like, no, dude, it's part of a set, man. Come on, leave the chip, don't steal my chips. 
with boring chips. I never get that. Sure, they make make fun of me. Uh, you review poker chips and this is what we're playing with? Yes. Nobody ever is like, can I have one? These are so cool. I want one. They're so interesting. They're a good souvenir. They look at them and they're like, eh, and chip. There's just an poker chip. That's all we need sometimes is just a stock poker chip that serves its purpose purely to represent denominations on the poker table. And if that's what you're looking for, these would work. But, you know, for me personally, I'm looking for something more interesting, especially as my first set. And then after I get my first interesting set squared away, then I can explore more interesting things. And I can buy hundreds of, you know, used casino chips or like really, you know, bold. I guess this one's pretty interesting. You know, really bold sets. And then after I get all after that, then, you know, kind of last resort, I'm like, all right. When I'm with Uncle Timmy, you know, when he's always trying to take my chips, so I'm going to pull these out, you know, at the family reunion or travel with these because I don't want to travel with some of my nicer chips. Something like that is where these kind of fall in. So annoyingly, it seems that people who have a lot of chips, this, this, these are made for people who, what do we have here? High stakes poker. Uh, people who have a lot of chip sets might do better buying these than people who are just looking to start out, but they're only 12 cents a chip, so why not start out with something like this? It just turns into the circular argument of who should buy what, when, it all comes down to you and your preferences. And that's something that I tell people, you know, even even patrons who like, you know, support the channel, they're like, well, should I get this or this? I'm like, well, you know what's really important? Your, your opinion is important. My opinion is just really applies to me, doesn't it? So for me, these, you could start out with these, but why not start out with something more interesting? Uh, well, it's something that's a little bit more expensive. Are I'm looking around here. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm just looking around here, trying to find uh, an ABS chip that I was going to compare this to. Oh, here they are. <clears throat> They're underneath my digital caliper. Sorry. Right. Um, so... The high stakes, all right, so this is a holiday casino. This is one of my family's favorite stops, by the way, in Las Vegas. These are present on the casino. Admiral, these are some also awesome chips. Nevada, Nevada Jack Skulls, if you're interested in these. King of the River Poker, you already saw those. High stakes poker, BR Pro Poker is what sells these. And Discount Poker Shop is what sells these. Apache Poker Chip sells the Casino Royale. Every time I show poker chips, people always ask. What? These are classic poker chips. I think it's poker chips online or something is the website i forget exactly if you search atlantic club classic poker chips you'll see these stock hot stamps i love these by the way these are on my list of to purchase and then we have some key west also lovely these are some this for a long time this were some these were some of my favorite chips these key west branded classic poker chips this is my promotional custom chip from br pro poker all right but you know, to me, these Casino Royale chips are more interesting than these Monaco Casino. I think, aren't these a little bit more expensive? I, I need to look it up. But to me, these are ABS chips that I think are more interesting than the Monaco. These are just as plain as can be, which, you know, like I said, there is a time and a place for that. Uncle Timmy. All right. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else worth mentioning. I know people like content here. I like to show you content. Do you want to see a sound test? Let's listen to how these sound compared to some of these other chips. Should we do some the ones that are kicking around here? Should we grab a stack of something wonky? Uh, more casino chips. More casino chips. More Paulsons. Uh, how many casino chips do I have? All right, we're going to stop here because this is... Oh, here, let's do some, you might as well do some classic poker chips. All right. So these should be the dullest sounding, the deepest sounding of all of them. All these other ones should be much more bright sounding. Not sure if my mic picks that up, but we're going to try it anyway. Yeah, so th those, the classic poker chips sounded much more bright. As did those Paulsons. And as do the ceramics. All right, moving those aside, we have one more thing I kind of want to discuss. This idea of clay chips, these feel like plastic, okay? And 
as such, they they kind of have this sticky, like plastic, you know, when you push them together and try to rub, they don't rub very easy. Like these don't even rub at all. You know, it's like, you know, you splash something out. Sometimes you expect them to slide off of each other. These don't do that very much because they're heavy. Now, by here we go again. Buckle. I hope you guys like poker chips because I'm just going to keep talking about poker chips. So they sell things as casino weight. Just remember that casino weight varies a lot. Okay, so th these weigh 13 and a half grams as you saw, but you talk about a real casino chip. These are older. Is it 90s that these are from? And they weigh 10 grams, you know? And then the newer ones, you know, how much do the newer ones weigh? You know, the same thing, less than, you know, nine and a half to 10 grams. And there are some, you've seen this before, the 25s, Jackson, this is a real casino chip. Look, eight grams. So 13.5, yes, there'll be card shops, there'll be pubs, there'll be different places that have heavier chips. But to label something casino weight, that's such a broad term. Don't buy something just because, oh, well, this one says casino weight and the other one doesn't, in my opinion. You know, all this whole review is my opinion. And the other thing, let's continue addressing like the stickiness or like how the plastic kind of like sticks together here. See, out of these three, these two seem to slide a little bit more. And sometimes it's just because one of the labels, yeah. So it's probably this label right here is a little bit proud and sticks out just a little bit for whatever reason. Sometimes it just is not aligned perfectly in that indentation there. So comparing that, so you saw how sticky, so you see how sticky these are. They just don't, you know, splash readily. So there's two that slide, but the rest of them just like stay together. Where when you take broken in casino chips, they just slide beautifully like that. Very consistent. Classic poker chips seem pretty sticky to me. Yeah, see, these don't, these are brand new. They're not broken in. They have that texture on the face. And so they don't, they don't exactly splash beautifully. They don't exactly like slide beautifully either. Ceramics though are very consistent and they can slide nicely. So something else to consider, you know, are these plastic chips gonna break in? I, in my experience, sometimes they don't. Sometimes this plastic is slightly porous and it attracts, you know, thumb, thumb juice, thumb jam. And so they get even more sticky, especially if you're eating. Don't, yeah, wing night. Don't, we're watching the Super Bowl and we're having wing night and we're gonna play with it. But these are good. I mean, I, I'm tempted to get a set of these for Pokemon counters and just to have a crappy travel set where I can, where nobody's gonna, ask me for chips i'm so like especially my custom chip can we have one of these no here take one of my promo chips don't take but there are no numbers on this one yeah there's a date on it go go get out of here thank you so much to my patrons for all your support and you don't need to be on patreon to support the channel you can visit my amazon shop i'll put a link in the description below i am an amazon associate i make proceeds from qualifying purchases thank you so much for watching please subscribe